Hey everyone, Chris here with your golf health and fitness team and today I'm going to be covering some exercises that we went over in the Body Swing Connection Seminar on March 7th. During that seminar we talked about C posture which is round the shoulders, S posture which is a forward pelvic tilt, we also talked about hip mobility and the, the reverse spine angle in your, in your golf backswing. So the first, uh, during this session here I'm going to be following the script of and with this video it lists all the exercises and a brief description of each one I recommend that you get the video go through the video with this and then once you complete that then do the exercises following this sheet so we're going to go to our first exercise which is for C posture and that is going to be a doorway stretch and what we're trying to do here is with the with the C posture because our, our chest muscles have have tightened has pulled us forward we want to open it up so we're going to stretch the chest by putting our arm in a door frame and we're simply just going to turn in till we feel a stretch here we're going to look away and we're going to hold that stretch for around 30 seconds and then we're going to switch to the other side and we're going to stretch the other side and the sheet will tell you how many sets and how long or how many reps of an exercise you should be doing so that's our chest stretch the next one we're going to be doing is what we call a band pull apart now the band pull apart is because our muscles in the back have, have weakened and, and pulled forward, we're gonna have to strengthen them. So we're gonna use a band, and I'm gonna use this band here. You can use any band you like. You're gonna hold it with your palms up. Elbows are locked into my side, and I'm simply gonna pull out. As I pull out, I'm gonna push my chest out and squeeze my shoulder blades together. Hold roughly five seconds. And I'm gonna bring it back, and then I'm gonna do the prescribed reps that you'll find on the sheet. Our next exercise is what we call reach backs. Now reach backs is, is to get mobility through the thoracic spine and you'll get down on the floor. On all fours, you'll put a hand behind your head and you're simply gonna rotate down as far as you can and then rotate back up as far as you can. And for the prescribed repetitions and of course what you do on one side, you'll do on the other. Our next exercise, this one right here is going to be for S posture and hip mobility. Now you'll notice when you see the sheet, and I have them each label so you know what exercises work in uh, what area that we're, we're talking about today, some exercises cross over and actually work for two different areas or more, so be aware of that. So this particular one here works for S posture and also for hip mobility. So what we want to do is we want to set up to do a pelvic tilt and we're going to stick our butt out and, and, and that now my, my, my pelvis is tilted forward like I'm dumping water out of a bucket. What I want to do is I want to bring that bucket up so the water's not spilling out. So what I'm doing is I'm simply moving here like so. Some of you may not be able to do this. You might shake or you're just going to go like this. But this is where we want to get you to, just like so. So the exercises I'm going to show you are going to help you with that. So the next exercise we're going to do is a bridge. So we're going to get on the ground, like so. We're going to have our hands above our face. We're going to come up into extension, but we're not going to hyperextend. We're not going to go so far that we start to feel pain in our lower back. From this point here, you're just going to hold 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you're just going to drop back to the floor, and then you're going to repeat that for the prescribed amount of repetitions. Our next exercise, while I'm still down on the floor, is gonna be the plank. The plank here, gonna get down on the floor, gonna be on our forearms, toes are pointed towards the floor, we're simply gonna raise ourselves up, and we're gonna tilt our pelvis so that we find a neutral uh, position here. We don't wanna be sinking into it like this because it'll put a lot of pressure on your back and we also don't want to be up in the air either. Well, so we got to find that neutral point and we're going to hold this for up to 30 seconds. Some of you may not be able to do that. If you can't, that's fine. Just, just come down when you have to and then repeat. Also, you can do a high plank, which would be this position here, but same concept. Don't sink and don't be too high. Our next exercise we're going to do is we call it low, low body turn and it's for hip mobility. You're gonna put your legs on a ball. 
just like so hands on the floor for for support you're simply going to keeping your shoulders flat you're going to roll the ball as far as you can to one side once you get as far as you can when you feel a shoulder starting to lift off the floor that's your in range of motion just stop and slowly roll back in the other direction and just repeat that for the prescribed amount of repetitions our next exercise is going to be the kneeling hip flexor stretch so again we're going to get down on the floor down on one knee if your knees are sensitive get a pillow or a pad or something like that to put under your knee the forward leg you want your shin roughly at a 45 degree angle away from your body what you're going to do now is, is you're going to just slide forward and you'll start to feel a stretch in this down leg here in the hip flexor you want to keep the chest high the higher up i am the more stretch i get if i lean forward my stretch goes away so we want to stay right here we're going to hold that and then we'll switch over to the other side the next the next uh, exercise we're going to do is called a hip wiper again for hip mobility we're going to lay on the floor I'll tell you what i'm going to turn this around to face the camera so you have a better idea of what i'm doing here i want to get my feet flat on the floor and up close to my glutes and out wider than my shoulders from here i'm just going to roll side to side this outside knee touches the floor top knee i'm pushing down towards the floor it may it will not touch the floor but just know that's where i'm, I'm pushing down gonna hold that and then smoothly roll back the other way and you can see the motion is why we call it a wiper the next exercise we're going to work on is called a it's a hip rotation it's for hip mobility and for reverse spine angle so just like when we were, we're, we're doing our pelvic tilt we want to get in, in this position here and we're going to stick our butt out and then we're going to tilt forward and what we're looking for here is a neutral spine position we don't want to be totally tucked in we don't want to be here we want to be here and then from this position here we just want to be able to turn our hips to the right and to the left and i'm going to face the camera so as you see if you look up here as i turn i have no motion at the top of my body that is your goal with this particular movement some of you will try it and you'll be doing this or you'll be shaking but this is what you want right here so our next exercise we're going to do what we'll call a stork turn now you'll want to put your hands on a wall or a chair i'm going to use this pole right here and a stork turn is you're going to stand on one leg and you're going to put a foot behind the knee and then you're going to rotate your body as far as you can in each direction i'm keeping my toe pointed towards the wall or whatever I'm, I'm i'm anchored to so what i do to one side i'll need to do to the other so i'll and you want to push this knee around as far as you can in both directions then again i would switch and i would do the other side and our final exercise is the cat cow this right here is good for all all of the areas that we talked about the c posture s posture reverse uh, spine angle and the hip mobility we're going to get down on the floor and what we're going to do is we're going to tilt our pelvis forward which which is going to make this part of my back arch and using my pelvis so we would call this the cow position the cat position tilt my pelvis back and it makes me roll up and see how my shoulders roll up and then I just repeat that my head goes up head goes so that's your cat cow pose that will help with your hip mobility and all the other ones that we talked about today now in closing I just want to say that first of all make sure that you're cleared to exercise before you enter any exercise program and also um, <clears throat> If you have any questions about anything that was covered here today, be, uh, feel free to contact one of our uh, health, health, uh, Golf Health and Fitness Team members and we'll be happy to help you. But you want to follow this sheet as close as you can. Yes.